Production support for the weekly special has been provided by PINCO Incorporated of Bedford, Indiana, and by WTIU members. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chuck Carney. Thanks for joining us for the weekly special. And I'm Ann Shea. As you can see, we're not in our diner this week, but on the road in Nashville, Indiana. This is an incredibly popular place for tourists and those who live in South Central Indiana to converge on during the fall season. And that's why we decided to do a show dedicated to some of the wonderful things under offered here. So let's take a look at what's on the menu in Nashville for tonight's show. Currently, state park inns like the Abe Martin Lodge in the Brown County State Park get financial help from the state. We explore the reasons why some leaders want to take away that financial aid. Then we'll take a look at what makes this area so special. We meet an artist who transforms clay into true pieces of art. Then see how a man here in Nashville takes holographic images. He has the only camera of this type in the United States. Then meet a Brown County resident who's made his mark on the music world with his handcrafted guitars. We'll see why some tourists and residents come to Nashville just for the food. And finally, see why nature's glory is truly the main attraction year after year. So many interesting things. And from the more classic arts and crafts to the avant-garde, we all know that Nashville is home to many unique shops. But Rob Taylor probably has the most unusual. He can make holographic images of practically anything, from your grandchildren to business displays. We find out why he decided to locate his unique business in South Central Indiana. Just off the main drag is a shop that offers Nashville visitors something a little different. Some people are uh, fascinated, um, you know, their uh, intellectual curiosity gets them about how this the process is even possible to be able to record, um, you know, whole information onto a flat film plane, uh, volumetric three dimensional information. Some people are scared. Did you see? That over there, that is, that's scary. Some people, uh, you know, are not used to the realism and accuracy and they feel, I mean, eerie or creepy or words that we get quite frequently here. Here is Fourth Dimension Holographics, a gallery and studio run by Rob Taylor. I had my own carpet cleaning uh, company um, and I was in the process of selling that and happened upon um, a holographer in Dallas, Texas. And one thing led to another and I decided to first uh, um, start my own gallery and then uh, start creating holography um, more as a hobby. That hobby has become a successful and nearly one of a kind business, specializing in pulsed laser holography. The technology behind Taylor's art is nearly as old as the laser itself, invented in the 1960s. Taylor's camera, designed by Russian scientists and Taylor himself, is much newer, made possible only a decade ago. At that time it was science fiction. They had never made one, but they knew that they could. For most folks who come through Taylor's shop, it's still very much science fiction. But the hologram does have similarities to traditional photography. This is the master transmission hologram. It would be considered a negative in photographic terms. It's the proof that the client would see to make sure that the three-dimensional volumetric information is, you know, what they uh, had thought and perceived would be right. Um, this particular one was one of a 285-pound Bengal tiger. Um, and you can see he's licking his choppers there. The master transmission is visible only under a laser light, simply a clear glass plate without it. Making the finished product visible outside the studio takes a few more days in the lab. Every one is still a learning experience for me and I still get the gee whiz feeling of uh, seeing a hologram image come uh, up as we process it in the dark room. It's uh, incredibly exciting and um, 
you know, a special feeling for me uh, as a holographer to be involved in holography in this stage of time. And although at this time, holography is truly in its infancy as an art form, Taylor is already looking to the future. We're hoping to open more studios around the United States. So, you know, like I would like to think in the next 10 to 15 years that the studios like mine will be operating in large metropolitan areas all over the country uh, in pretty much the same fashion, offering uh, commissioned personal portraiture to the general public. And Chuck, not only is this three-dimensional imaging, it's also recording at a basic atomic level. What Rob is doing is actually recording interference patterns between wavelengths of light. Just saying that confuses me, actually. I have no idea what you're talking about. but it, the house, I don't really either, but there it is. <laughs> it works somehow. That's, that's all we're really sure of. You know, the technology of this holographic imaging is very high-tech. We could, of course, only scratch the surface of how it works. But if you want to see for yourself, go into Rob's shop in Nashville. He'll be happy to show you more and explain it better than we I can. could possibly do. <laughs>